In this video, we're going to install Ubuntu onto a virtual machine. All right, so Ubuntu is a very popular Linux distribution. This video is going to be geared towards beginners that just need help getting something set up. We're going to be using VMware Workstation, I think it's version 10. All right, so if you go to ubuntu.com slash download, you'll see a page like this, and we have the desktop. Also, you can install the just the server if you'd like, which is basically uh, just a command line. There's no Windows or anything like that. It's just kind of like the bare bones. Uh, Ubuntu Cloud is also available. You can set up your own private cloud, or you can use the public cloud. Uh, we're not going to get into that, but it is an option. Uh, let's see, Ubuntu Kylin. This is created uh, specifically for Chinese users. Ubuntu Core, which um, is for developers. I don't know too much about that. Um, alternative downloads just gives you different types. You can, for instance, you can download as a torrent, and that's pretty much it. This Ubuntu flavors. This is. I guess you can kind of pick and choose the default applications and settings and things like that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click on Ubuntu Desktop. And right now, the latest version is 15.10. That's what we're going to be installing. So I'm on a 64-bit machine, so that's what I'm going to choose. And I would click Download, but I already got it. All right, so you can see it's right here on my desktop. Okay, so you're also going to need VMware Workstation. All right, so like I said, I think this is version 10. Let's just check that out. Uh, oh, version 11. That's right. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to say file and then new virtual machine. And we're going to choose typical or recommended. Okay, so we'll choose next. Now, since we have an ISO file here, I'm going to choose this option. And we're going to click browse. And let's go to desktop and then choose that ISO file. Okay, we'll click next. Then you just want to put your name, uh, username, password, Okay, you can name it. Let's say 1264-bit. Um, yeah, I guess that's fine. For the location, you want to choose where you want to put it. I actually want to change that. But, um, of course, you can put it wherever you'd like. I'm going to create a new folder. And we'll just call it Ubuntu 64-bit. Okay. And we'll click next. Now it's going to ask you how much uh, space you want to use for this from your hard drive. Okay, the default is 20, which is kind of low. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change this to 100. Okay, and you also have the option to store the virtual disk as a single file or the default, which is splitting it into multiple files. All right, so splitting the disk makes it easier to move the virtual machine to another computer but also may reduce performance with very large disks. Okay, so we're just going to keep that default. All right, now we have a kind of a summary of what's going to happen here. Uh, what I'm going to do is click Customize Hardware, and you can change a bunch of things here. For instance, I'm going to change the memory up to 2 gigs. All right, I, I have 16 gigs on my, on my computer, so uh, I think 2 gigs is fine. You can also choose the number of processors, uh, the number of cores, if you have multiple cores. I'm going to leave it at one. Network adapter, I like to put this to bridged and then replicate physical network. And what this does is it makes this, this virtual machine look like it's a, just another physical machine on our network. All right, so if we go into Windows and we go to our network manager, we'll see this virtual machine and uh, we can basically treat it like it's like it's a real like it's a physical machine all right uh, the rest of this stuff i'm going to leave default so we'll just say close and you can see now that this is updated let's go ahead and click finish okay so that's going to go ahead and run okay so it's just going to kind of go through the motions now I will be um, pausing here and there if it's if it's taking a while so don't be alarmed if it seems like mine is going really quick and yours is really slow. 
all right because we just kind of just kind of wait for it, everything to get set up now this process that we're going through now is going to be identical to if we were to say have an Ubuntu disk and we put it in and we're installing it onto a physical machine it's the same exact process all right so if you're not using a virtual machine this is still relevant now if you're looking to make a server out of this and do things like um, change it to a static IP address install a Samba server so that um, you can see Windows files in your network and stuff like that I do have four or five videos showing you how to do that it's with an earlier version of Ubuntu but the process is the exact same uh, I will be redoing those videos because I'm not too happy with them um, but for now if you want to get a server set up then uh, the, the, they're decent guides to go by but I will be redoing them soon probably with this installation all right now we we downloaded Ubuntu desktop but that's not to say that we can't create make it a server um, the reason that they they separate the desktop and the server is that when you install the server it has much less on it okay obviously it doesn't have a graphical user interface so that makes it somewhat faster than if you were to have a server with a, a GUI all right I myself prefer to have the the user interface on my servers it just can it can make things a little easier especially for me because I'm not I mean I can use the terminal the command line but I'm not a, a, a pro at it so some things are just easier to do with the interface all right so we went through that and it just restarted the virtual machine so now it should be setting up all right All right, so we're getting our login screen. I'm just going to open this in full screen, which it doesn't take up yet. We may have to mess with the resolution. I'm not sure yet. So you just want to log in with whatever you chose as a password. And it's going to get set up for the first time, so it might um, lag a little bit. All right, so it's so small, um, probably because I think VM VM Tools needs to be installed. Install VMware Tools. It's probably still installing. Uh, let's see if we go to System Settings, and let's see Displays resolution let's change that to uh, let's see let's try that there we go all right so you may just have to do that and keep this configuration okay so it is now installed so if we look at what we have for programs over here by default, we have Firefox, we have um, LibreOffice Writer, which is, this is kind of like um, the Microsoft Office suite. You get a spreadsheet, um, Impress, which I think is kind of like a database. Um, if you're not familiar with the, with the command line, with the terminal, and you want to look for stuff to install, you can do it through the Ubuntu Software Center. This is basically like an app store. Okay, it's formatted the same way. We have categories. Uh, if you click on one of these programs, you'll get a description. There's also reviews, ratings, and reviews. So if you want to look through there, different things. I mean, there's all kinds of categories. Okay, developer tools, games, uh, Office. All right, so you can check that out. Uh, and then, of course, the settings we saw a little bit this is just like Windows control panel okay you can change like the appearance appearance background images themes things like that uh, power options uh, suspension and things like that uh, printers you can set backups I'm not gonna go through all this because this video is just to show you how to get this installed 
um, but I probably will make a couple more beginner based Ubuntu tutorials um, so keep an eye out for that if you like these videos um, so yeah so that's all installed okay we can go ahead and shut it down if we want okay you can restart shut down and it'll just shut down as if it was a, a real physical machine all right so hopefully you guys like this and hopefully it helped you out a little bit if you like the video please give it a like subscribe whatever you can is absolutely fine and thanks for watching